Which insanely popular or successful movie you secretly hate but are afraid to say if in the open fearing backlash from fans? My wife hates Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Wondering if I should be considering divorce. Have you tried explaining every joke to her in great detail? I hear that helps. Or farting in her general direction? Or calling her mother a hamster? And that her father smells of elderberry? A duck. She turned me into a newt once, I got better. Bring out your dead. Knee. Come and see the violence inherent in the system. The Hunger Games is probably my favorite book series, but the first three movies suck. I didn't watch the last one. Hashtag X200B, edit, first silver. Yay, D hashtag X200B, edit 2, I'm going to look for the Battle Royale books. Smile. Jurassic World. I don't get how it became so popular. I secretly want the dinosaurs to win and eat all the main characters. I'm actually certain a majority of people who see the movies want the dinos to win. I know I do and that's enough evidence to support my claim. Edit, thanks for the silver you glorious punks and do me a favor and pray to whatever god or deity you choose to keep Blue alive and healthy as she roams the American Southwest. 100% go every time saying this is it. This is the time they let the dinosaurs eat everyone. Frozen. Watched it once, thought a Disney and six years later remnants of it still continue to surface. Moana and Tangled are better. And Coco. Coco is lovely. I saw it with my grandmother, who was Mexican, right before she died. She was so excited to see her culture represented like that, and it was a nice thing for me to see with her at the end of her life. It provided a nice bit of closure for me. She died in her sleep at age 90. It was not a tragedy, as she had been in pain, just a time to reflect on her life, and that movie helped me in a small way. She died in her sleep at age 90. I work in a nursing home. That is absolutely the way to go. I really don't like Woody Allen, find him pretty annoying. Hess like The Bachelor in every Woody Allen movie. They're like this guy's a great catch and then you see him and it's just a blob of corduroy. John Mulaney. Anything that's so bad that it's good. I can't watch that shit. Oh, you're tearing me apart, Valky. Oh hi Zug. The Notebook. I don't get what's so romantic about a guy hanging on a Ferris wheel to make you go on a date with him. That's basically blackmailing. It's a movie about someone not being able to make up their mind. She can choose the kind and thoughtful war hero with money who loves her. Or the kind and thoughtful war hero without a lot of money who loves her. They were both great dudes. Pick one. You're not a martyr, lady. It drives me crazy that people think it's the best love story ever. And the whole it's totally romantic to argue constantly. Duck that. Came here to say this, what's so great about arguing then making out over and over for the whole relationship? It's not realistic for a dating relationship and it's certainly not something you build a die at the same time love on. I had a relationship like that. It lasted about two months. It was exhausting. Bird box. It really seems like someone thought of the cool premise and then they tried to force a script into it. Although I gotta say, the scene with the parking sensors in the car was super cool. It's not a new premise. It's basically a better version of The Happening. I was so hyped for The Happening when I saw the trailer. The dude laying down not front of the lawnmower. I was like this is gonna be awesome. What a terrible shit show. I too was excited for it because on the surface it's a terrifying premise. Then it sucked. Now I love it because it's so weird. Just the fact that I'm supposed to believe Mark Wahlberg is a science teacher, it makes the whole thing hysterical to me. I really didn't enjoy La La Land as much as everyone liked it was so all over the place and the last few minutes were the best part. Decent music, didn't like the story. I feel like people who like musicals often dislike La La Land. I have never seen a musical before and went into La La Land with zero expectations and really liked it, I especially thought that the last scene was an excellent twist. The movie starts and ends really well but I think the middle where they fly around and live together is pretty boring. 
I think the middle where they fly around and live together is pretty boring. That was all intentional, from my interpretation of the movie's message. Lincoln was a mind-numbingly boring movie that's highlights were Daniel Day-Lewis being Daniel Day-Lewis with a fake beard. I majored in political science, pro tip, don't. I knew what was going on and the maneuverings that were happening and etc. did not change the fact that it was an insanely boring movie. Edit, I'm getting a ton of why not poli sci. And being at work I'm not able to directly respond to all of them. For anyone I miss, here is my explanation. Edit 2, wow rip my inbox. I'm working through trying to answer anyone who asked me a question. Thanks kind stranger for the gold on the other comment. Ducking gravity. I hated that movie. I work for an aerospace firm that makes stuff for the ISS. That movie felt like a reason to get Sandra Bullock in her skimpies. Space isn't sexy. Space is full of a rat's nest of cables and 30-year-old equipment that's miraculously being kept on life support by an extremely dedicated group of engineers. That, and what the fuck was satellite debris doing in the same orbit as the ISS? Nearly the entire script was listened to Sandra Bullock hyperventilate for two hours. I never understood the appeal. I'm not afraid to clearly state my opinion of anything I don't like any of the current crop of action movies. Is the action bad? Or is the plot just extra stupid? In my case, I miss the unapologetic action and violence. I'm not in for the agorefest. But I must admit I found Dread, the one with Carl Urban, kind of violence refreshing. The clean violence you now see in movies irritate me to no end. Hashtag X200B, except maybe in superhero movies. Because, let's be honest, most of those fights would end with ripped off arms and whatnot. Hashtag X200B, edit, THX everyone for all the great suggestions I certainly will have something to watch for my vacations next week. Getting a dread to with Carl Urban would be the best thing that's never going to happen. They definitely didn't market it right but the movie is so rewatchable and the soundtrack is kickass. La La Land. It was just a love letter to musicals of the past. Well done, but not groundbreaking or particularly memorable in and of itself. All of my friends who had never really seen musicals went crazy for it and I couldn't stand hearing the songs from it played. I loved La La Land for its cinematography. So many of the shots are beautifully arranged color-wise and the songs are good too if not incredibly memorable. As a pianist I love watching Ryan Gosling's scenes with him playing, whether that's actually him or not. My complaint comes from the fact that the movie felt like it should have taken place in the 70s or 80s and the modern day setting feels out of place and shoehorned. Also the leads are a strange choice but they pull it off. Defiantly not groundbreaking or particularly memorable but very entertaining nonetheless. Also. I hate Seb. He's an idiot and everything he does and feels is wrong. But that's just me. Avatar. It's a live action Fern Gully. And it's missing the epic villain. I still have nightmares about that oil demon. Oh man. That oil demon gave me PTSD I swear. Toxic Love was the greatest villain song ever. Change my mind. It's hard to beat Tim Curry, but I'll offer up friends on the other side. Ready Player One was horrendous and should have been offensive to anyone who's ever played a video game, something which Spielberg has clearly never done. I stopped watching after that scene where he just drove backward on the racetrack to reveal the secret area. Like none of these millions of gamers playing every day would have ever tried something so crazy. Hashtag X200B, I don't even consider myself a hardcore gamer but that was just really dumb. That's a great example. 10 minutes into playing Mario Kart with three buddies and someone is driving backwards. But teams of people trying to find ways to beat it didn't try it once in 5 years. I think it was supposed to be reason that the race was actually prohibitively expensive to be overly risky and do that. Though it very much didn't do it well. But what about a mega corporation with an intent to win the world's most valuable asset? Sausage Party. All critics liked it because it had meaning but I thought it was an immature and obnoxious experience. Yes. I spent money to see it in theaters because a friend of mine and I were in the mood to see a movie and the best part was when the douche yells. That was a bad pun, and you know it. Otherwise, eh? Like seriously, sentient food guys. I saw it with my mom. I'm so sorry.